So I've never really typically used dating apps in my entire life, but I wanted to take all of the knowledge that I have about dating and female nature and kind of condense it into one profile if, let's say, hypothetically, I had to make a dating app. So then what I did was I wanted to show everybody in my community how I did this and why I did this and the photos that I choose step by step. And the responses were really good. I had a lot of women message me first. Here's just a couple examples. One girl goes 100% agree on your whole profile. In one of the prompts about myself, I put that one of my fears is elevators. And then this girl says, would be honored to be in a confined space with you. And I thought that this was funny. If you guys follow Austin Dunham, he reviewed my profile and he actually said that the way I structure my profile is in the top 5% of profiles that he's seen. So because of that, I wanted to break down step by step for you how I did this or how I do this. And this was one of the videos that I released to my inner circle community. So keep in mind, inside of our movement, inside of our community, this right here is the level of content that you guys are getting from me. We've enrolled over 570 guys into this just over the past couple months. Guys are actually coming together to get real life dating success. And I'm watching these guys master the language of women. So in this entire video end to end, I'm going to break down my entire profile step by step and why I do everything. I have never Never done anything like this before on my channel so rest assured if you stay with me until the end you're going to be learning so much so that way you can structure your profile to the best of your ability okay so I have no idea how good I am at this for explaining because I've never done an explanation like this of a dating profile before but this is my profile I'm going to go through exactly step by step why I have each picture in this order and why I do the things that I do. So this is picture one. So the first thing that I'm trying to do here is showcase um, nature. And the whole theme for all of my photos, I don't care if it's Instagram, I don't care if it's uh, a dating app, whatever. I'm wanting every picture to look as candid and not staged as possible. So the one vibe that you are never, ever, ever under any circumstances trying to give off is the vibe where you have to go to someone and say, hey, take a picture of me. Because it ruins the moment and it's try hard energy. So like this photo was actually captured. Um, my friend was just snapping photos and I happened to be smiling or I think we even, like something happened and it was funny. Whatever the case may be, it highlights a couple things. So the first thing that you want to remember is that since women are like pre-programmed to look for men of status, you want to have something that's in the background or something that you're doing or you know attempting to do in each photo that symbolizes some form of status so obviously here i am out on a lake okay it's close to nature nature is good vibes nature feels good um and it's like another thing i can do here is i'm showcasing physique and like you know muscle that i've built without being try hard standing in the mirror flexing Okay, so that's not what you want to do. Now, the very first thing you want to do in your first photo too, is you want to emphasize your look or your archetype. Since I'm from North Dakota, obviously, um, I showcase like the cowboy hat. Um, and just there's other things here that, you know, I'm doing too. So obviously, like, the Ray-Ban aviators is its own look, right? Like I have a certain type of tattoo with a certain saying that like not very many men have. Okay, so you want to kind of fit a specific look or a specific masculine archetype. This is huge. So this is my first photo. Now the theme is it's completely candid and just keep in mind like look, look how intricate I am with the detail of why I'm selecting these photos. The mountain in the back looks, you know, nice. It's part of nature. It's a nice candid smile that I have. The aviators plus the necklace like the aviator sunglasses plus my necklace plus the cowboy hat plus the tattoo with the one saying on it that I have. It's all those little details that add up to where a woman looks at you and then it's like you're a storybook that she wants to unfold. You know, even in this photo, she's going to say, oh, what lake is that? Or, uh, you know, hi, cowboy or howdy or how are you doing or whatever. I get this all the time. So this is first. I'm showcasing physique without being try hard. It's a candid photo. Women fall in love with imperfections, not perfection. So another thing you'll notice is like, I don't try to keep my hair too perfect, you know, or things like that. It's like, I want everything to have a natural effortless flow. So this is the first picture. And this is why I choose this because this kind of symbolizes who I am. Now keep in mind too, I want to show a smile. 
a lot of men, especially right now as masculinity is starting to obviously become more of like a hot topic for guys to talk about, let's say. The biggest problem is guys try to give off this hardcore stoic image and the problem is like it makes you very unapproachable and it makes it very hard for the woman to feel safe with you. Like people naturally smile. Um, even when I'm on a date, right? The first thing that we're doing is we're giggling and we're having fun and the whole time we're smiling and playing around and you know, it's like that whole vibe and chemistry needs to be there of good vibes and fun and love and excitement. So like if you kind of pair that with my look, like think about that for a second, how counterintuitive it is. So like, or how, how, uh, how different they both are. So here's like this guy with big muscles and a beard that could be very intimidating if I laid into that. But with that look, when you soften it like that, it's like the word I'm looking for is contrast, right? I'm giving contrast. So it's like this fun loving dad who also has all of these other things that symbolize sex appeal is basically what I'm trying to do with this first photo. So keep in mind, I just went on a five minute rant about that one photo. Now, number two, Okay, this is the second thing that I do. So it says, all I ask is that you, and now it wants me to give a prompt with a voice. So I'm going to play the voice message right here. That you're easy to get along with and don't take yourself too seriously. Okay, couple things here. So if you're going to do a voice message, first notice the cadence of my tone. Right, I'm like that you don't take yourself too seriously. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is this, you want a voice that emulates something that she can be seduced to. You talk about 10 to 20% slower, you lower your tone. Okay, you know how when you wake up in the morning and you have like more of a raspier voice, that's kind of the, the sweet spot for tonality that you want to use on any sort of voice messages with a dating app. Okay, because it's like she can actually fall in love with your words and now you're like a guy who she can like imagine herself being seduced to. So this is huge. So let's say it one more time. That you're easy to get along with and don't take yourself too seriously. So I say that you're easy to get along with and notice the break right there. Then I pause and so it's like I'm thinking, right? I want to appear a bit stupid or even like I'm not trying too hard, okay? I want it to seem effortless. And when I say that you're easy to get along with, it's like that's me qualifying her. And when I say, uh, and don't take yourself too seriously, the vibe I'm trying to give off is casual or fun or, you know, I don't like things to be staged where it feels like, oh, we met on this dinner date and now it has to go at this certain cadence. No, I want the vibe to be chill, natural, relaxed. Like I literally want the vibe to be like, she could imagine herself wearing a pair of pajamas and coming over and watching a movie and eating ice cream. Like that's the vibe. You need to make her feel as if it's fun. Okay, fun is basically the word here I'm looking for. So that's huge. If you're gonna use voice messages, use a tone of voice that is deeper, a little bit even monotone, and break up the sentences slightly with extended pauses or pregnant pauses because that is going to be more masculine, less try hard, and it looks like you have to think a little bit with what you're saying. Now it says, my most irrational fear is elevators. I personally hate elevators. Like another example with me is like roller coasters or stuff like that I can't do. Like I've never been on them because I don't like not being in control. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. I'll go 80 miles an hour on a jet ski but I will not go 20 miles an hour on a roller coaster. I will freak out because I'm not the one driving it. So I just say this because it's true. I just picked this because then if a woman says, well, why don't you like elevators? Um, you can say, because I like to, you know, be in control of the situation. It's going to seem more masculine, but a lot of girls will say, oh my gosh, me too, because nobody likes being enclosed in a metal vault. Okay. So that's what you got to remember. Nobody likes being enclosed in a metal vault. And that's why I picked this pick something that's congruent to you. But this is one that I thought would be good. And keep in mind these descriptions, I try to keep them as short and sweet as I can, like owner at self-employed. I don't, I don't want them to know what I do. I want to create mystery. I, I try to just leave these as blank as possible. So your descriptions, don't put too much effort into it. Let your pictures do the talking for you, okay? Now, this one here is me playing golf or me just putting around. 
Now I'm doing two things in here. Obviously I'm symbolizing um, status or like a nice location because the landscaping is awesome. The backyard is awesome. Okay, it's a sick picture. It looks awesome. But then if you see like what I'm wearing here, right? It's like Under Armour shorts and like a dad tank top with cut off sleeves and a cowboy hat. Once again, I'm fitting that archetype. And I even have, uh, I even have a cigar in my mouth. Right. So it's going to scream, you know, masculine or it's going to scream, you know, like she she can picture her dad taking a photo like that is basically the vibe that I'm giving. And I'm giving this vibe because like if you don't symbolize some of this stuff, it's going to be very hard for a woman to feel like sexual chemistry with you because you have to remember women are survival creatures and they're obviously optimizing for their children's survival. So if a woman looks at you, she has to know that not only she would be safe, but her kids would be safe. So what am I doing? Symbolizing the father figure, symbolizing, you know, the typical dad. And once again, the vibe is like, I don't care. Here's some basic gray shorts. Okay, here's a basic old cutoff t-shirt. Perfect. No try hard energy. This picture, epic because number one, symbolizes physique, symbolizes view and a location, and then symbolizes pre-selection. Another thing here with this one, I'm playing a game with her. Women love to play games. You, you would not believe how many women will like this one photo and put play games with me or give me attention too. Or, you know, I even had one woman She's like, oh my God, I, I'll do anything for Connect Four with you. <laughs> so like they want to play games. This photo creates jealousy because there's another girl in the photo um, that I'm playing against. So instantly the woman wants to be selected, right? So this is huge too. Now, any of you too, if you're looking at my photos and you're going, well, Casey, like, you know, I don't, I don't have any uh, places to symbolize like status of a cool location or like I don't have a backyard with a mountain in it you're going to have to get creative. Like even if I didn't have this location of where I'm at or where I'm living, you got to remember, you would just get creative, right? If you go to a lake, right, rent a boat for a day with some friends, take a picture, right? Or maybe, you know, when you go on vacation, if you're at a really cool luxury hotel or you're at a nice spot Airbnb that you stayed, maybe you take a picture, right? You want to just symbolize that you have access to cool places and the cool places do not have to look rich. It does not have to look expensive. What you'll notice the theme is with my photos is the high status locations that I'm symbolizing or signaling. I'm actually signaling, um, nature, right? Mountain nature, high status, right? Water nature. What I'm trying to show is I'm trying to show an element that is close to God like mother nature. Okay. To me, that's the most high status is when you have access to nice scenery or scenic spots of nature. And this is just how I do it, right? There's different ways to symbolize status. You could be in a really nice five-star luxury hotel. And yes, that is a form of status, but I'm trying to get as close to like the mother nature, earthly element as humanly possible that is connected to mother nature in my photos. That is how I prefer to try to signal status um, and resource and just good vibe because I try to get as close to human nature, mother nature as possible, right? You cannot learn, understand and master female nature if you don't master human nature and human nature is uh, keen to wanting places that are nice, you know, think oceans, think mountains, stuff like that. So that's my next photo. Um, my simple pleasure is good food and lots of it. So this is another simple one, right? Very simple, good food. Women are going to go, Oh, I like good food. Lots of it. I'm symbolizing, I'm signaling, excuse me, uh, resources, extended amounts of calories, right? Good survival food and calories are needed for survival. That's why I have this. And notice it's no, it's not like an elaborate message. Like, Oh my gosh, I have to have all this stuff. It's like short and sweet. You're going to notice that about all my sentences, all my paragraphs, two words, five words, six words, max, you know, things like that. Good food and lots of it short, sweet, and to the point, low perceived effort, low amount of try hard energy. I'm trying to show like, I don't care. Okay. Now I show a side that is good for modern day. Modern day would be like business, right? So the other photos was like more, uh, 
you know, the masculine archetype or the father figure or whatever the case may be. Now, the last two photos, I'm showing earning potential. So here's me in a button up with pants working. Once again, it's candid. I was smiling um, and my photographer or videographer uh, took this and it was completely candid. He didn't say, hey, I'm going to take a picture of you. He just took it. So we try to capture things in the moment. Obviously, if you guys don't have, so that's what I mean too. You guys got to get creative. You guys got to think outside the box. If you're going to watch this video and go, well, I don't have a camera guy. Okay, this is very easy. Give the phone to your brother, or your sister, or your mom, your dad, niece or nephew, whatever the case may be, and say, hey, when I'm standing here or sitting here, take a few pictures of me when I'm just like talking or doing stuff naturally. Very, very simple. You can do this at any age, you know, any location, whatever the case may be, just get some candid photos. And then the next one, um, dating me is like uh, chaos you'll love. So why did I say this? I said this because there's contrast. The opposite of chaos, right, would be like order. So chaos that you'll love. These are opposites, so there's contrast again. A lot of women, a lot of times, ones who are more prone to words and falling in love with words, will actually like this message. Instead of a picture, they will like this message. So chaos that you'll love. Once again, short, sweet, to the point, low amounts of try hard energy. Then I take a selfie. Um, and once again, I'm just symbolizing or signaling uh, certain amounts of sex appeal, right? The white Ray-Bans, this is its own look. The cowboy hat, that's its own look. Now keep in mind, I keep my beard nice and groomed professionally. I have a necklace on, like it's its own look, like the, th this is its own look. So then I just show a very simple, like a soft smile, a selfie, very easy going. A woman, a lot of times will like this photo and they'll say like, um, you know, love your look, or they'll say like, hi, cowboy, or things like that. So they'll actually open you first when you have a look that's congruent. And then last but not least, um, the last photo is just business. This was me in my old house when I had a podcast studio. Um, we just all kind of took photos one day. And yeah, it was a cool picture. So a button up shirt, me just smiling, um, some cool artwork. And yeah, this photo was obviously not candid. Um, but Nevertheless, I thought it still looked good. So yeah, that's kind of how I do online apps.